now we will uh, look into the concept of junctions what is a junction and how it is uh, being operate basically uh, this is uh, the same concept as a junction uh, we usually see in traffic when uh, uh, this light goes green uh, then uh, the vehicle can pass that is uh, this condition is being satisfied then only we are uh, going into some other part uh, so this usually happens uh, in the state flow uh, as well as uh, flow chart uh, in the same way uh, here the condition need to be satisfied then only it can reach at these junctions then uh, it will uh, stay here until uh, the condition also uh, being satisfied uh, for the next junction so uh, here uh, the mm, the uh, vehicle uh, as you can see in the, the video that a vehicle will stop uh, when the conditions are not satisfied as you can see the red red uh, bulbs and um, uh, the same way uh, as in the flow chart when u is uh, greater than zero then only um, the transition will happen and it will reach at uh, these junctions the same way uh, happens with the state flow also here the conditions need to be satisfied then only it will reach into these junctions uh, the some of the uh, basic um, ideas and uh, principles of uh, junctions are uh, junction is a point where the state flow uh, or state flow can decide where to go next and what is the possible existing path for uh, next uh, so here it will reach it these junctions and it will decide based on the priority and the conditions this this is the priority one and this is the priority two of the junctions uh, transition so uh, either it will go at the first uh, priority transition or it will go to the second priority transition based on uh, the conditions that is present in this uh, state flow uh, when uh, both the conditions are being satisfied then it will try it will try to choose the lowest priority part then it will go in here and uh, if uh, only one condition is being satisfied suppose it is one uh, first condition that is uh, this uh, particular transition will happen uh, if uh, first is not satisfied and uh, second is satisfied then it will go in here uh, the second principle uh, for uh, uh, junction is that in one sample time it executes and passes the junction and it reaches the uh, it reaches the uh, exit point uh, this uh, this happens when um, this also happens with the uh, flow chart now when we start at this junction uh, at one sample time only we need to reach at the end of the junction this is how the logic being implemented in flow chart uh, because uh, in flow chart we have no uh, place to stay like in uh, like in uh, state flow uh, we need to start from a point and we need to end at uh, some point uh, that is uh, uh, happening in flow chart as we can also see that in case of flow chart we have only junctions and transitions that is present in the uh, flow chart so flow chart uh, consists of only junctions and transitions with the help of conditions it will try to uh, come from one junction to another junction and it will try to trace the path uh, but in case of state flow we have uh, one state where uh, the activity can stay and then um, uh, then we can go into the next state uh, based on the uh, junction condition or uh, transition conditions but junction is a place where uh, the activity of the state can stay for a temporary uh, purpose then it will decide where to go and where not to go uh, if it is not decided in this case if, if both the conditions are not satisfied then it will come back uh, to the initial state and it will stay here but um, uh, it will uh, it will uh, decide the path but junctions will decide the path where to go and where not to go that is the only activity uh, a junction uh, do uh, when uh, we define it now we need to understand what is a transition and uh, what is the definition of transition when it is being used and uh, how it is being used uh, 
definition of transition is when we try to connect two components in a state chart then we use transition as you can see here uh, we are trying to connect uh, uh, two uh, two states uh, s1 and s3 then we are using a transition but in those transition we are using um, some uh, conditions to uh, happen to make the transition happen uh, next uh, we are uh, trying to see what is the use um, of uh, a transition uh, when we are moving from one state to another uh, we use the transition part when we are moving from one junction to another junction also we use a transition uh, when we are also moving from a junction to a state or state to a junction as you can see in second figure uh, we are using a transition so uh, what is the different uh, different type of transition that is existing uh, we need to see uh, as well uh, there is uh, one kind of transition that is an unconditional transition in the transition uh, in which there is no condition defined uh, then it is called an unconditional transition uh, this uh, is represented with the help of uh, this figure uh, here we are able to see uh, that uh, there is a unconditional transition where no condition is all no condition is present uh, and uh, it is also called a default transition uh, when we are trying to start a logic then uh, we will uh, try to put uh, this type of uh, transitions uh, so that uh, the starting point will be defined for the logic this is also an unconditional transition but it is a normal unconditional transition uh, uh, this transition can happen only once at uh, one level uh, of the state flow um, and this can happen at um, uh, if we are trying to define uh, one unconditional statement uh, path from one state to another suppose from state A to state B then uh, we can have only one unconditional transition from state A to state B otherwise uh, there is a confusion uh, between uh, tr unconditional transition if we are using two unconditional transition from one state to another state in this case from state A to state B if we are using two unconditional transitions then uh, the state flow will be getting confused suppose in this case 1 and 2 will have no conditions uh, um, no conditions then uh, the state chart will get confused to which one we need to go because there is no condition then uh, it will get confused the second type of uh, uh, transition is uh, conditional transition transition um, uh, in this case uh, that condition is being written within a square bracket and uh, here uh, the condition uh, that is need to be a boolean logic uh, it should give a zero or a one as its output as you can see in the uh, flow chart uh, we can see that u is greater than zero is a boolean uh, logical statement here either it can give uh, it can give uh, zero or one from as an output uh, the condition can also be um, concatenated with the help of AND or OR logics that we usually implement in uh, different logical statements so that also we can implement uh, with the help of uh, this condition when the condition is being satisfied then we are moving from one state to another state otherwise we will go back to the initial state and will stay active in that state when we are implementing uh, this logic and we are trying to see the animations uh, in the state flow logic when a, a, a blue uh, box blue boundary will be there then it is uh, representing that uh, that particular state is being active in that way we will know that which state is being active in a state flow chart uh, the second uh, and the, uh, the third one um, is uh, we can have one transition uh, which uh, represents both condition as well as action 
as you can see in the the uh, figure um, here uh, there is a condition that is condition one that is happening and then there is a condition action that is happening means when the condition is being satisfied then a particular action will happen uh, there is also another type of uh, transition in which uh, in which uh, uh, the transition action uh, will happen when uh, uh, this is the transition action for that one uh, so when the condition is being satisfied uh, uh, the the condition action will take place and uh, while the transition is being uh, going through from one state to another state there is a transition action that is being defined that will also execute that is represented with the help of a slash so syntax will be uh, we can uh, first represent uh, the condition within a square bracket then uh, we can uh, represent uh, the condition action within a curly braces then uh, putting a slash we can define another action that is transition action that is happens when that happens when uh, there is a transition happening uh, uh, from one state to another state uh, that's this transition will uh, happen so this is the format at which we can write uh, uh, the condition and transition and uh, uh, this uh, this can be implemented both in state flow as well as flow chart and uh, uh, this is how the transition looks like and how it is being used in a state flow or flow chart